<laughs> How you doing? All right. Good. So, will the canary get to come out to play during crisis? Oh God, I hope so. I think so, and um, but I'm trying not to keep you know get my expectations too high. Uh, but I hope so. So where do we pick up with her at the start of the season? So um, the very start of the season is a bit of a departure. It's uh, We're doing something a little bit different. Uh, and um, it's going to, what is this? I'll just say that. It's going to be a little bit different at the start of the season. It's something uh, different and, uh, and unexpected. So we're very excited to see uh, what people think, what people catch on to what's going on. But uh, then, you know, at the beginning of the season, she's also still the police captain. Um, she's sort of still trying to figure out where to find her footing with uh, the team just, you know, falling apart in a sense. And, um, yeah, but it's going to be a little bit of a twist on what we normally see for that. Yeah. Do you feel more grounded within your role as you start the season, or is it still finding the footing once again? That's such an interesting question. I, uh, I think every time we start the season, it's like the first day of school all over again. And uh, I'm nervous, and I'm finding my footing, and I'm like, I forgot how to act. And <laughs> um, so I'm still very much in that phase because I've only worked one day this, this uh, season so far. Uh, but that's sort of like the beauty of the process. You trip over everything, and then you find it. What's on your bucket list for Dinah? Because we're not going to be seeing her much longer. Right. Yeah. And I've been thinking about that. Um, and because we only get the scripts, you know, one week at a time, and we're only up to three right now, I don't know where she ends the entire series. Uh, but I just hope that she... She's, she's, she's a character who always carries so much, like, you know, she carries angst, and she carries... Uh, there, she's had a lot of just things in her past like, you know, so I hope that she finds some kind of like resolve like she really kind of finds her direction and she finds herself because she's, you know, she's going back and forth and you know am I a vigilante am I a police captain am I so I would love to see her just sort of like land on her feet and be like this is what I am so that when we take her to the next place she's really strong in herself are you happy with how the characters progressed over the seasons because she's come so far thank you yeah I, uh, I am I am and I, especially like with the future stuff, it's been so interesting because um, it's given us such an opportunity to like really do rich work as actors, to just like jump 20 years in the future. You can fill in whatever you know you want to in the middle for the most part, and it's uh, it's been really rewarding. So I really am grateful to our writers uh, and our producers for for the storyline they've given her. I think it's been it's been really cool and interesting. Yeah. We see Oliver get pulled away at the end of last season. How is that kind of directly affecting Dinah with now Green Arrow not being here? Right. I think Dinah feels a sense of, you know, she has to step up now. I think she feels like, well, you know, who's left and what can we do? And we need to sort of, because the, the hierarchy of the team is, is important. Um, and our leader is gone. So she definitely, also Dinah, Dinah being Dinah, uh, feels the need to sort of step up to that position. Not that she wants to be in charge, but you know who will because somebody needs to take care of the team. Yeah. Yeah. So it sounds like the show kind of starts off a little bit emotional. What is the tone for your character during this? Time? Ooh, I love that. Um, I think she's exploring. I think she's exploring, and I think that her tone is, um, yeah, just what a sort of searching and like openness and. Uh, because a lot of things are happening that she, <laughs> when Dinah first comes on the show and she says something about, you know, I saw this and that, and, and Diggle's like, well, we've dealt with aliens. And she's like, aliens? Like, so she's, there's all these things in this universe that she has no idea about, and she's just going to discover more and more of them. Yeah. Cool. Last question. Looking back, what do you hope the legacy of the show is? Oh, wow. Well. I hope it makes people want to be better people. I hope it makes people want to be just and and make the right choices. And even if they don't make the right choices, surround themselves with the right people who can who can put them in that direction. And um, that's that's very important. Just like. <laughs> Thank you.